Hello everyone, this is Crowbar Animation, and today I'm going to be giving out 5 tips that you can use while animating with dinosaur toys, so let's get started. Number 5, Treating Them as Animals Let's be honest with ourselves, in modern media people treat dinosaurs as mindless flesh-eating monsters, but they were just animals too, so in your animation you should try to make them more animal-like instead of monster-like. An example would be if you have an animation where a dinosaur walks up to a person and starts eating them. Well, you could add curiosity to the dinosaur before it starts attacking. For instance, twisting its head like it's curious with the person, then it would attack. I mean, I guess my point is, an animation, a dinosaur animation, where the dinosaur doesn't attack or eat someone, it's a little boring. But if you add a little bit of curiosity before the dinosaur attacks, it might make the dinosaur seem more like an animal than a movie monster. Number 4. Music This one's a very obvious one, but I'm going to mention it anyway because many people overlook it. But you're gonna need good music to go in the background of your animation. I'm not saying you have to have music, all I'm saying is that if you're going to have music in your animation, make sure it goes well with what's going on on the screen. Because if you have music that doesn't really go well with what's going on in your animation, then your animation is going to be less good and people aren't going to like it or enjoy it as much. Number 3. Dinosaur Sound Effects this is very similar to the music one, but when you're making a dinosaur animation, you're going to want good and unique dinosaur sound effects. And the thing is, is that you don't want to just use the one dinosaur sound effect that iMovie has in their sound library over and over again. No, you're going to want to get very unique dinosaur sound effects off the internet. Because in my opinion, when you have unique and good dinosaur sound effects in your dinosaur animation, then it just makes it feel more realistic and it emerges your audience more into the animation. Number two, stable footing. A lot of times when I'm animating with dinosaurs or anything for that matter, I'll accidentally move the animal's feet and it will be out of place from the last shot. So you want to make sure that whatever you're animating with stays still. For instance, um, you can tape its feet to the floor or put putty on whatever you're animating with's feet or else your animation could look like this. So basically, you're going to want to have a way to make sure your animal's feet are stable so that you don't accidentally move it away from where it was standing in the last shot. Number 1. The Putty Trick So basically, sometimes people will have these toys, like this Tyrannosaur, that they have to press a button on the top of its head to make its mouth open. But you don't want to do that because your hand will get in the shot if you do. But there's a trick to where if you put putty in the back of the toy's mouth in a certain position, it will support the jaw so you can pose it in different positions, which is perfect for stop motion animation. But all you'll have to do is make sure you shoot from an angle to where you can't exactly see the putty in the dinosaur's mouth. A good example for when I use this technique is when I did the stop motion animation test, and it actually worked out very well. These have been my 5 tips for animating with dinosaur toys. If you've enjoyed this video or found these tips helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, this is Crowbar Animation, out.